From Pencil to Production is an online competition for the modern designer. With all my years in fashion industry and as a professor, and even all the people that I've met along my journey, I just felt like we can come together as a community to help the next generation of fashion designers. So I'm really excited for you to see the show. I'm excited for you to meet the judges, but first, let's start with the contestants. Hey guys, good afternoon. Um, so my name is Sean Coco, and I'm applying for the Pencil to Production uh, competition. And uh, I'm really excited because a lot of creative people, you know, we do have um, a lot of ideas, a lot of uh, inspiring, cool, different, unique ideas. Um, and, you know, sometimes you may not have the capital and uh, the funding for it. I'm the owner of a brand. It's called Coco Wow, the getaway from the ordinary. And uh, what's cool about this brand is that all of our apparel and uh, all of my clothes comes with uh, a little free air freshener. Uh, so this way you not only look fresh, but you smell fresh. And um, I make uh, handcrafted shoes from scratch. Only thing from Nike is the sole. So I, I buy leather, I trace it out onto, trace it out, I cut it out, glue it together, and um, you know, I make the shoe. My goal with Coco Wild is to build um, the collection around the sneakers that I make. These are called the Waves on Mulberry. is inspired by, um, inspired by my time working at Kip. And Mulberry Street is like a street uh, next to Kip. You know, the color of Mulberry is like a maroonish type of purplish color. So I, I, that was kind of the basis of the colorway. And um, you know, the waves, you know, the blue just kind of represents the waves. Hey guys, I'm me. I believe that fashion is fun and should be accessible for everyone who wants to use it to express themselves. Truth is, when I was young, I did not know a lot about fashion. And at the end of my high school years, the fashion bug had caught me and I am addicted to designing ever since. I was in school and working at a job I did not fulfill my passion for fashion. So I decided to follow my calling. I went to FIT and before that, I went to the Art Institute of Portland. So I believe that I have the technical skills to start my own brand, but I need help with the business side of the industry. I need people who are well-versed in helping and mentoring a newcomer like me. I believe that I am a hard worker and will work until his death. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for providing me this opportunity to present myself. My name is Destiny Anderson. I am currently based from Dallas, Texas. Um, I will be launching a luxury apparel line for men and women. Um, this line is Debut 2. Um, I have already established a wardrobe styling service business called Alizé's Debut. Um, and this will be the next co-partner um, business under Alizé's Debut. I should be considered for this um, competition and program simply because I will set a standard for going above and beyond. There's no such thing as losing within this program or even a journey on my own. But I will use this process to further educate myself and use the support to create a luxury brand that is not aligned with the normal standards of the fashion industry. My ultimate goal is to create a luxury brand in its own lane um, and create a new opportunity. Hello, my name is Molly Miller and I would love to be considered for the pencil to production design competition. Um, I started my own company called Zest Dressed about a year ago. I just started with a trend newsletter, which really focuses on sustainable fashion. And that's really where my passion lies, is how to make fashion good for the world. So I really think I could be a great candidate for this competition because while I don't have a shortage of ideas, I do think I could use some more tools regarding business strategy. Um, I really feel like I could use help and feedback from people who know better on which of my ideas are the best, which are going to connect with my customer better. I want to eventually quit my day job and feel confident that I could weather a storm. But anyway, so we are calling everybody who applied and letting them know individually if they're in, if they're not in. Um, if you're not in, what you can do if you want to um, apply again next year. 
and what kinds of things we were looking for or what we weren't looking for. So, Miss Molly, you are on the list of people who are in. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yay. That's so exciting. Yeah, so congratulations. Thank you. I mean, this is the one problem you're gonna run into with me is like, I am a housewife whore. Mm -hmm. So, at this point, I don't know what you're gonna get on camera because you don't know if that stuff seeps in into your, you know, and then I'm just gonna start acting like a real housewife in New Jersey <laughs> at any point. You never know because that's what I'm watching at night, so. Well, it will be entertaining. <laughs> I, I might just flip the table in the middle of filming. We're calling everybody who has applied, whether you're in or whether you're out of the competition, um, just to like talk about what you submitted, what we loved about it, what we thought you know could improve, and kind of what we were looking for so that if you want to apply again next year, yeah. that you can certainly do that. Yeah. So you, my friend, are on a list. Let me just check the list to see where you are. And you are just kidding. You're in. Oh. Ah. <laughs> what? Don't give that up. That sounds like a nice place. Yeah. It's next to a um a grave. Well, not next to. So like <laughs> it's like about two blocks away from, from a grave. A cemetery? Huh? Yes, yes, I'm right. Yes, the cemetery. And they made fun of me like, oh, well, ghosts will like haunt you. I was like, I'm, I'm, I welcome ghosts because like sometimes I need models <laughs> and they don't eat anyway, so it's perfect. You know, try on my, my clothes and then leave me alone. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're calling everybody, whether you're in or out, to just let you know, like, you know, everything is going on. And so I wanted to let you know that you are in. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. And um, we're excited to have you. I'm excited, you know, I just feel as though this is definitely a great opportunity that you're offering to people um, who are in a situation that are very creative and, you know, are just looking for, um, you know, a little mentorship and as well as, you know, a little guidance and, you know, whatever little, you know, capital, um, you know, that we, uh, that we went from this that we can use towards our projects and build our dreams. So I yeah. definitely appreciate that and I definitely feel, um, you know, I'm happy to be a part of this for sure. I'm excited. I'm super excited. Yeah. Now that I'm here, I'm ready to, to soar and give it my all. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, let's first introduce the judges. We gotta be serious. Okay. <laughs> the minute Remy Ma conceded came on, I was like, oh, oh. yeah. I was like, <laughs> yes, yes. Guys, this is iced tea. It's not uh, what you think it is. Brandy. No. <laughs> Brown liquor. I'm spitting already. <laughs> 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 I wasn't raised properly. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I guess that Harvard degree didn't do much for your life. It did nothing for me. It's we had a coaching mm. Some unique individuals, indeed. So, here's a little background on our judges. Alicia is creative by birth and designer by trade. She also has a background in merchandising, so she knows the business side. Pieces from her bespoke leather accessories brand, Amber Poitier, can be seen at the National Museum of African American History in DC, and were previously featured in the Kennedy Center gift store. Casey is incredibly talented and knowledgeable in product development, and has worked for brands like Derek Lamb, Coach, Kate Spade. I like to call him a quiet storm because he's hilarious. Sometimes his responses are totally unexpected, but he never goes one episode without dropping some serious knowledge. Devon Johnson is the founder of Blue Magazine, which he started because he didn't see examples of the people that looked like him accurately reflected in the media. A true example of someone who decided that he wanted to change and control the narrative. Oh, and by the way, He's also a graduate of Harvard.
Natasha is a PR powerhouse. She's had clients featured in Entrepreneur, on Fox, CBS, The CW, and she's a true example of someone who knows her craft and has fun doing it and brings her clients into that fun. We are all, all of the judges, we are all angel investors and we want to invest in whatever is the next best or the next big thing. Whatever you come up with, it needs to solve a non-fashion related problem. It can be pre, during, or post COVID, okay? Think outside the box, be creative, have a good time. You have two minutes to make this elevator pitch to us, okay? Two minutes, all right? And then we are all gonna decide do we want to hear more? You have 30 minutes to do this. <laughs>